Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Packages Series. Right now, we are on our Lecture 5, Week 3. Now, let's proceed to our topic for today. So, we have three topics right now in spreadsheet. First, insert a function. Second, type a function. And third, copy and move cell entries. Now let's move to the insert function slide. A function is a predefined worksheet formula that makes it easy to perform a complex calculation. It can be used by itself or within a formula. A function if used alone begins with a formula prefix equal sign. Don't forget that. And the last, we have functions are organized into categories such as financial, date and time, statistical, and others. So in figure 16 shows an image of where to find inserting functions. And this shows expanded function argument dialog box. In figure 17 shows an image of inserting a function on five basic predefined function such as sum, average, count numbers, max, mean. And this focuses on the epsilon which is the sign as auto sum ribbon function drop down list. In figure 18 shows an image of identification of a function. So the figure itself has its function name displayed and uses such as the equal sign pointing by the arrow, the sum which is the function name, and the argument which is the delimiter. So right now we're finished with the function as how to insert. Now let's move to type of a function. A function can be typed manually into a cell, such as you must know the name and initial characters of a function. Next, it can be faster than using the insert function dialog box because you already know the initial of the character of each function. And last, experienced Excel user often prefer this method because it is fast. Necessary to begin with the equal sign when typed manually. And another, once you type an equal sign, each letter you type activates autocomplete features. In figure 19 shows an image of a using a max predefined function. Max function, as you notice, is in progress. It identifies on row 10, highest number, so we have the equal sign, which was been mentioned in a type. The name of the function is max, and the argument is b1 colon b9 as a delimiter. That is how we type function. As long as you know the prefix of the function, it will automatically generate it. Now we're finished with the type of function, insert the function, type of function. Now let's move to the last topic we have, copy and move cell entries. You can copy or move data within a worksheet or between worksheets using cut, copy, and paste buttons. Another is by using the fill handle in the lower right corner of the active cell. And the last is the drag and drop feature. So you will notice that we can use copy or move data in three ways. Copy and move cell entries. Clipboard temporarily stores information that you copy or cut. Pasting an item from the clipboard only need to specify the upper left cell of the range where you want to paste the selection. In figure 20 shows an image of a clipboard to copy and move entries. This copied data in office clipboard. But before you're going to copy that, make it sure 
that the clipboard panel has been shown so that is very easy for you to determine what to paste upon copying to the clipboard validation board insert a function type a function copy and move cell entries are already finished congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number five thank you